Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Um, to uh, last episode, we did uh, a little bit of mining. If you don't remember, uh, we went on down into the shaft. We got some uh, some resources, not a lot of resources, but a, you know something going. I think we have yeah, we have some gold going here, as well as I think we got like a piece of iron. It, it wasn't the greatest, uh, most bountiful one, but it, it definitely. Uh, gave us a little bit of resources. I do want to get some diamond eventually here, but we won't sweat it for now. Um, I think I need to make another shovel for what I want to do next, so we'll go ahead and take the, uh, that iron. And let's go ahead and make ourselves another shovel. And now, the plan here today is that I would like to, um, to actually flatten out this area. I, I've been talking about it for the last few episodes, and uh, I think it's about time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to speed up the whole process of me doing so and then uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so if you didn't notice, I ran out of uh, usage on my shovel, so I'm just going to go ahead and make ourselves another one, and then I'll get right back to work. Okay, and there we go. We've cleared out all the dirt, so now I'm just going to go ahead and I hopefully clean out all these trees, even though there are a lot. I'm going to work my way from the top, so I'll start up uh, on top of the leaves and I'll work my way down. It'll just be a lot easier in the long run. But first, let me go ahead and grab some, some sleep here. This is so cool. This whole atmosphere, the castle atmosphere that we have going with, um, with the nighttime, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I hope you think so, too. Okay, that should be most of the wood. Obviously, I'm going to want to clear out the ones that are over here because um, if you don't clear out all the logs, then some of them will uh, like uh, keep the leaves from degenerating. And that's what we want. We want it to be a nice open area, especially if we're going to put a farm here. Obviously, it's not the biggest um, area yet, but I think we can explore. I, I know we can. We will expand it. Uh, as we get more farms going, I just want to start a wheat farm up here. Um, like I said... The melons are not super important. I mean, I know that's what we're eating right now. But um, as we go further down the road, hopefully when we find potatoes, that will, um, that'll be what the next farm we expand into is. But right now we're just going to do wheat farm um, here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, and now that I'm done clearing out a little bit more of the area, I think I'm going to dig it down one more so that we don't have to jump up onto the farm and, and um, risk losing blocks. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually dig out one more layer right here and then what I'll go ahead and do is I'll fill in the area that I'm going to dig out with dirt but what it will be is it'll be two rows and then a water row and then four rows and then a water row and then four rows and then a water row uh, I think I'm actually gonna dig this now I'll dig it out I don't know which ways which ways it needs to be symmetrical right so we have how many one two three four one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll dig out one each way so that it will be uh, symmetrical uh, farm. Yeah, so I thought I'd just let you guys know the plan, and uh, I'll go ahead and, and stop when we uh, when we get to that point. <laughs> Nighttime is here once again, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep it, and then we will uh, we'll be back working on the farm. It's almost done, um, and then I have one more thing I would like to do this episode, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna give it away just yet. <laughs> Oh, I heard him fall. No way, Mr. Creeper. Hold on. We got to run back here for a second. Make sure our sword's equipped. Are we good? Yeah, we can take him. Ready? I don't want to I don't I don't want to run uphill and have to take him. So we're going to run downhill. Let's get him. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, so we got to get back up without or we got to get at least down without dying. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and eat back up as we swim back to the shore and we're going to have to repair the bridge now, but I'd rather have it be the bridge than us. Uh, still have not died in the series, fingers crossed, right now, because that was a close one. Uh, yeah, so I'll get back. I'll get back to completing the farm. I guess um, if if that happens again, I will. Uh, I'll definitely holler for you guys. I'm I'm not scared at all. Don't don't worry about me. There we go, it's basically brand new. Awesome. Okay. Now that we have our farm set up, I'm going to go ahead and place down this bucket of water. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dig in uh, a little area here. And we're going to dig out a 2x2 two two area. Now this is um, this is one of the one of the oldest tricks in the book actually. With Minecraft, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and eat here before I, uh, I get snuck up on. Uh, so you place down a bucket of water, right? And then let's go ahead and get ourselves another bucket. And we will do so by doing a sweet 360 bucket grab, uh, actually chicken punch. Ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? We can do this. We can do this. Ready? Hup. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even get far enough. I, I did a 720, I believe, as well. Well, I'd still punch a chicken just because... Because I'm mad we didn't make it. Anyway. Uh, we're going to grab our boat, I guess. And we'll, we'll go back to shore. Rawr. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our bucket of water as well. That's why we came down here in the first place. Okay. Nice. Okay, see you later, boat again. Get out of here. These these vines, we're going to have to do something about. Because they're going to keep slowing me down as we go up the stairs. Eventually, we will take care of those. Okay, so now that we have another bucket of water... We're coming on back here. Um, one of the oldest tricks of the book in Minecraft is actually placing two buckets of water diagonally. So I put the last one in this corner, I'm going to put the other one in this corner, and boom, it creates an infinite water source because when I pick up water from here, these two spots refill that spot and flatten it back out. So now I have unlimited water, so we don't have to keep jumping down in order to get more. 
Um, I believe you can place water every other block in order to completely fill this area. Oh, that was a bad place, but that's okay. Wait. And sometimes if the water, like watch, if I do this and then I set it down and then I do it really, if you do it too fast, if you pick up water too fast, what I'm trying to say, um, sometimes it will register that you did pick it up too fast and then it won't replenish itself. So just put the bucket back and it will reflatten out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so yeah, and then this is obviously the most exciting part of making the farm. <laughs> I say sarcastically. Um... But it does look like it's gonna it's gonna be well. We need some light to light this place up, and before I obviously till the land, there's gonna be a few more renovations that I'm gonna want to make, just so that um, we don't find ourselves ruining the till the ground before we are ready to plant. Okay, now I need to eat again, of course, because you know these melons are not very saturating. Like I said, and that's why we're starting this farm. Okay, I need to do something about this edge as well. Maybe I'll make a nice, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just grab some fence and I'll, I'll fill this up. I'll put a nice wood platform there, I guess. Um, and then what we can do is every time we have a new farm, we'll just build a little platform out somewhere. And we'll build the new farm. I don't know if we want it to be free-floating yet. I don't know I don't know what I want to do with that. But, sorry, I, I, I lost track of what I was doing. Um, here we go. Two more. One more now. And there we go. Okay. So now we have three rolls of water. Um, let's go ahead and run back. We're going to need to grab as many seeds as we can, the hoe, and then we're going to run back over by the old house. And we're going to pick up all those. I mean, even if they're not grown, we're going to go pick them up um, because then we can plant them back over here. Let's go ahead and grab these seeds. And we will go on our adventure back uh, as well as we'll pick up those melons while we're over there I think I think that's a good choice Jeez, the boat always goes over there I, I need a like a boat retrieval system if anybody um, down in the comment section below can like explain like a easy way to like make it so that when you jump off boats they stay in the same spot I'd be really appreciative of that um, because so far I, I have not figured out a way to do so um, it does look like I, I need to move the R too. We need a new beacon. What do you guys think we should? Uh, we, that's another one in the comments I would love is like a beacon to, to say that this is our house. Obviously, our house is pretty high up, but it's kind of hidden by the forest. So I wanted to know if you guys had any ideas. Obviously, a beacon, like an actual beacon, would be the best choice. But uh, I don't think we're gonna run into a wither wither boss pretty any anytime soon here. Um, and if we do, it'll be much later down the road. Let's go ahead and get all of this. Like I said. Even the stuff that is not fully grown because we need the seeds. Nice. How many seeds do we have? 35. That is not bad at all. Um, just making sure I didn't miss anything. We'll leave these melons and stuff here because we won't be coming back here too much. I may start a melon farm. I'm not sure on it yet. Uh, if anything, I'll build a melon farm in order to show you how to make an auto melon farm, which are very cool. There are farms that can um, sustain themselves, basically. Uh, you can set it on like a, a timer so that it breaks the blocks every X amount of time in case melons break whenever. Or you can just do it on a lever, which is probably the better option. See, look, every time the book was over, it's probably a better option because then you just wait till a bunch of melons are good. And then you just flick the switch. You get a bunch of melons down. Um, a water waste system. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, now um, before we go ahead and... Uh, plant the seeds we're going to go ahead and just place these semi evenly just so we're not getting a ton of mobs over here if we need to come over here in the middle of the night did I space those evenly that's pretty close how'd I do there we go and then is this one lined up please it is okay what about this one oh it is Oh, so pro, so pro. Okay, now let's go ahead and I was gonna say till the land, but there's one more thing I wanted to grab, uh, and I I'll, I'm I'm gonna empty our inventory as well. It's getting a little full here. Um, how much wood do I have? I have a ton. Don't worry, I know it's very messy in that in in every one of these right now. Um, I'll have it fixed eventually here for you guys. 
because it drives me absolutely insane. Like, I, I if if you guys want to look through my chest and like see something, you know, it's just easier if I have it organized. Because then you're not pausing the video, searching the whole chest. You're like, oh, there it is. It's right there in front of his face when I miss something. Uh, let's see if this works. Nope, that does not. I could have sworn that they added uh, some flattened b blocks. Is it granite? What? No, it's not. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, I was going to do flattened granite blocks, but it looks like we're going to have to go with stone. Which is fine. Stone is going to look fine. Uh, I don't know how many we're gonna need, so let's take we'll take more than that. I'll take 36 stone slabs, and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna cover up the water with these half slabs, and what that will enable us to do is walk over the water and like th like through the actual farm, so that we don't have to like jump over the water or we have to have things fall in the water, um, but the water will still make the the land wet, so that we can grow. I had way too many. That's okay, though. I'd rather have too many than not enough. I always say that, I know, but it's it's really it's important to live by. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and till, finally, the, all this land. Here we go. Here's our iron hole, and we're just going to go ahead and... <laughs> Okay, see, and we didn't even have enough seeds to cover a whole uh, middle section, which is fine because um, as we obviously we get more, we'll plant more. Um, in fact, I think we may just do these two as wheat, and then what we'll do is when we push out the farm, we'll use those, and we'll use like two rows of this for each one, um, unless I, I decide to do a lot of the auto farm that I spoke about uh, just a little bit ago. But yeah, let's go ahead and head to bed. Um, I think I'm going to end off this episode here. I know we didn't get much done, but we got a nice good farm going. Um, and that, that means a lot, you know, it's, it's going to help us out in the long run. We're going to have to be doing a lot less of that kind of stuff. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, uh, don't be free to be afraid to hit the subscribe button and to watch the episodes previous to this to, to get caught up and see exactly where we are. Um, and yeah, have a great day.